Okay. It's Chris. Chris does what? And uh, just recently I bought a brand new fancy used car for my son. And uh, it's a cash car. Didn't want to take out a loan, but I wasn't going to not provide him a car. I think it gives him a leg up in the future. And when, when you, when you can basically uh, uh, take out a large amount of debt for a vehicle, especially if you don't know how you're going to pay for that, and then you have to figure out how you're going to pay for that debt. Well, there's a weird hair. Um, that's not good. That's not a way to live. And I'm fortunate enough I could find this car at this price, yes. No AC, no amenities. It's basically a mode of transportation. It'll get point A to point B, and I can carry liability on it. Which also, if you buy a new car and you take out a loan, then you have to maintain uh, full coverage insurance. And if you looked at full coverage, full coverage insurance, especially if you're under 25, for all you men out there, you're going to end up paying $200 a month in insurance, and that's going to suck. So, if you are wiser than me, because I bought lots of new cars and then figured out how to pay for them, you will not get a new car. You will buy something within your means, drive it, save, put that car payment you were going to pay for that new car back into uh, a savings account or investment account. And when it reaches that new car dollar amount you want, then go buy you a new car. Or if you want to buy some special toy, well, instead of going out impulse buying that toy and figuring out how to pay for it, you see the price of the toy and then you save for it. So that's my two cents here. And if you like this, hit that thumbs up on this video. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I'm looking over here, should be looking over there. But if you like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or things you want to leave below, feel free. And y'all take care.